Okay, Prabhupada. Salaam alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, very good afternoon. And uh, for my Japanese friends, if there are any on board as yet, Konnichiwa. Uh, Japanese management mystique is the, is the title of the talk that I have to give. So I'll just open and share my screen. Okay. I hope everybody can see that. Sure. I've been associated. I've been associated with various companies, uh, Japanese companies, since 1983. It's actually 47 years. This year, in I month Fortune 500. There are 53 Japanese companies listed. Of them, I have worked with seven of them, interacted with them. Um, altogether, there are 586 companies which are over 200 years old in the world. And of them, 3,146 are Japanese. 1,535 are from Europe. 88 Japanese companies have offices in Pakistan and work within Pakistan. This is a very small number. Even in Bangladesh, it is higher. They have 279. And uh, India, 5,102. Lanka, 92. So we have to get on the bandwagon of the Japanese companies, to make them more interested to come to Pakistan. A little bit about... Uh, their culture before I get on to the slides. Or oh, let me open the first slide and then we get on. Here is the first slide which shows the philosophy. This is how the Japanese approach whatever they are doing. They have to have a philosophy. That is the basis. Then they go about process improvement, people and partner development, then to resolving the problem. It must get aligned with the philosophy. That is the alignment. You don't resolve a problem in utopia. This is remarkable about them. And I'll share the next slide, which outlines this a little bit stronger. If you read that, this is Marchushita. They have, and their brand is national, which is very well known in Pakistan. The ultimate purpose of a business enterprise should be not to gain profit, but to contribute to and promote the welfare of the public. And the last line, this is Marchushita's interpretation of profit, which should be in proportion to the contribution it has made to the society. Similar is with Toyota. The products our products and services to contribute to society as well as to our customers' needs. If you look at Sony, promote Japanese culture. So everywhere, the profit objective is not only for money. It goes beyond. Okay. So for them, the middle management is very important. That is what's very important for them, the middle management. They take a long time to pick the right people, the people who fit into their own, own culture. Everyone has their own, own culture, their own objective, their own philosophy. And that's where they fit in. Uh, for them, teams are more important than heroes. They value perseverance a great deal. Um, now, I'll talk about the slides that open in front of you. This is called the Toyota production system. Everybody does not practice TPS, yet there are a lot of companies, not only in automotive field, but in textile and in pharmaceutical, etc., who practice the system. 
there are two things required to make this system successful, at least two things. The top management must make a strong and visible commitment to participate. It becomes a beacon for everyone. To all employees must, must participate. There are no exceptions to the rule. TPS puts responsibility and gives authority to each employee to manage his or her work. It's important to have that clear. It's not like the Western way of doing things. It gives the responsibility and the authority to each individual. Okay, then I'll get on to the slides. Uh, if you notice this TPS, it starts with employees satisfaction at the bottom and under it is actually the trust between the management and the employee. That must be served all the time to create employee satisfaction. You have satisfied employees, then you have satisfied customers. You cannot get customers satisfaction without employees satisfaction. Things that I put in here just in time in Jidoka on the extreme, 5S and, uh, and Kaizen, Genchi, Genbatsu, target for PQCDMS, RCS is root cause analysis, and PDCA, plan, do, check, apply.